Today's project is going to be messing with motors. What can we do with motors today? Well, hmm, let me see here. It's an interesting motor right here. This came out of a microwave in the turntable and it operates with AC. So this will produce uh, at least 120 uh, volts AC, depends on how fast you spin it. So how about we take one of these and we'll take one of these cheap dollar store uh, USB chargers a little hand crank in there produce a little cell phone charger for one dollar okay, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put this let's just uh, tie this down in here so that uh, it doesn't move over this bit That's not gonna move, I don't think. okay so we got that in place now get a little pair of voice grips on here okay so now we got some way of spinning and testing I shouldn't have to spin this too fast. Probably around this speed or so. As you can see, 98. So all we gotta do is spin it around this fast if we're gonna get the voltage we need. This is uh, obviously AC voltage. You want to be careful with this. It's only three watts of uh, power. So here we have uh, the voltmeter hooked to the positive in, in the ground of the USB cord. So on, on this four wires, they're typical USB. So the one on the left here is ground, and the one all the way to the right is the uh, five volts. So that's hooked right up into my multimeter here. So let's just see if this thing will generate the 5 volts we need. Well, I gotta put on DC, don't I? That would help. Yeah, there you are. We're already at 5 volts. That's, and it's very little effort to spin this thing to generate 5 volts. So there you go. Cell phone charger, hand crank with used parts from a microwave. 